We're here at Maker Faire, and this is Carrie with Microsoft Gadgeteer. And well, can you tell us about Gadgeteer? Absolutely. So this is Gadgeteer. It was originally developed in Microsoft Research Cambridge as a hardware prototyping platform for sensor and embedded networking research. So we ran into the problem where we want to put devices together, try out some concepts, see if they work. And then if it doesn't work, you want to be able to take it apart really quickly and do something else. What we have here is an embedded processor on a socket interface, and all the sockets are physically identical. And then there's a wide variety of devices you can plug in. So a camera module, a touch screen display module, there's buttons and networking interfaces, sensors and motors, so all types of stuff. And then you can uh, plug them all in and program them in C Sharp. So if you know .NET programming, then you know how to do gadgeteer programming already. So as I said, this started out as a research project, and then after a while we started to get a lot of interest for education, for hobbyists, and so we, we brought it to Maker Faire for the first time a year ago and we wanted to see what people thought of it. And there's a lot of excitement. So over the last year, we've been working with a number of hardware partners who are going to be bringing the hardware out for people to buy and to play with themselves. We've got some robots here that we're using with Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio. And as you can see, they have Connect on the top. And of course, the Connect is a really big thing right now in the robotics community because it allows the robot to drive around and not bump into things, hopefully. <laughs> What we do is we put a laptop on top of the robot here. It's designed for that specifically. A couple of USB connections, that's all it takes, and then you're good to go. Uh, we've got a competition we put in place. We're trying to get people to come up with ideas. You know, it's an innovation style competition. Come up with ideas of what can you do with this? Now think about it. This is no longer the Kinect sitting in your living room in front of your TV, just sitting there, right? This is a Kinect that can follow you around the house. What can you do in a home environment with a robot that's got a Kinect on top of it? I'm sure there's a million things that people can come up with, especially if you look at what's been happening in the community, in the open source community, with all the hacking that's been going on with Connect. We're trying to tap into that and say, hey, yeah, you know, we've got this stuff too. You can do it in a fully Microsoft environment now.